Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations a minus b equals to 26 and a cubed minus b cubed is 49,322. In other words, we are going to solve for a and b and just keep in your mind that a and b are greater than zero. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Here's our very first step. Let's recall this well-known identity a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus b square plus a times b. And now we know that a cube minus b cube has been given to us this quantity and a minus b is given to us as well equals to 26. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So therefore our equation is going to become 49,322 equals to a minus b in our case is 26 and then times we're going to leave this thing as it is a square plus b square plus a times b. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 26. So therefore, we are going to get, uh, we can see this uh, 26 and 26 is gone. Therefore, a square plus b square plus a times b turns out to be 1897 when we divide these ones. Let's go ahead and tweak the left hand side of this equation. I'm going to put a minus 2ab and plus 2ab at the same time. Then our left hand side is simply going to become a square plus b square. Then I'm going to write down minus 2ab. Let's go ahead and add a b plus 2 a b is going to give us plus 3 a b equal to 1897. And now let's recall this identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 a b. We are going to apply over here. So this whole thing could be written as a minus b whole square. So the left hand side could be written as a minus b whole square plus 3 times a b equal to 1897. And now we know that a minus b equals to 26. So I'm going to replace this a minus b by 26. So we got 26 whole square plus 3ab equal to 1897 and we know 26 square is same as 676 plus 3ab equal to 1897. Seven. Let's go ahead and subtract 676 from both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with 3ab equals to 1221. Let's divide both sides by 3. So therefore, our ab value turns out to be 407. So we figured out a times b is 407 and here's our next step. We are going to find the value of a square plus b square now. And here's our next step. Let's recall the identity a minus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. And now we can see we have a, a minus b that has been given to us as 26 and we already figured out our a times b value is 407 and now we are going to fill in the blanks. So the left hand side is going to become 26 whole square equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times 
407 26 square is same as 676 equal to a square plus b square minus 814 let's go ahead and add 814 on both sides this is gone so therefore our a square plus b square value turns out to be when we add on these left hand side numbers that is going to give us 1490 so thus we figured out our a square plus b square value as 1490 in this step and now in the next step we are going to find the value of a plus b and here's our next step this time let's recall a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab in our case we know our ab value has been figured out as 407 and a square plus b square value is 1490 well, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a plus b is square is on the left hand side a square plus b square is 1490 plus 2 times a b is 407 let's go ahead and simplify furthermore we got 1490 plus 814 which is going to give us 2304 now let's go ahead and remove this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides and we can see this square and square root is gone so we ended up with uh, a plus b equals to positive or negative 48 and now we know that a is positive and b is positive as well so therefore when we add a and b a plus b is going to be positive as well so therefore we are going to reject the negative 48 values so therefore our a plus b value turns out to be positive 48 so we finally figured out a plus b equals 248 and now we are going to find the value of a and the value of b and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, a plus b equals 248 and this a minus b equal to 26 and here i have copied them down and here we got a system of two equations with two variables and we are going to solve it by using the elimination method therefore let's go ahead and add these two equations if we add these two equations positive ab and negative ab is gone so we ended up with the 2a equal to 74 let's divide both sides by 2 so our a value turns out to be simply 30 7. now we know that a plus b equals to 48 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a equals to 37 i'm going to replace a by 37 plus b equals to 48 now let's go ahead and subtract 37 from both sides this is gone so therefore our b value turns out to be 11 so thus our solution turns out to be a equal to 37 and b equals to 11 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye